people were shorter like a hundred. Yeah, years people ago. were definitely yeah. shorter. People people still had the same potential for growth that they do now. It was it's just they didn't eat as better good diets food? and then nah, now medical. No, it's evolution, bitch. I think it's evolution. It's evolution. Absolutely <laughs> not. First of all, you don't know how fucking evolution works. Yes, it's not there's a, thing a where fucking over... little horse. And its neck is too little to get to the pond. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> over time. Keep going. <laughs> go time, off, bitch. Go off. Over reach time, the pond. <laughs> over time. Longer neck, though. A horse with a longer neck yes. drinks from the water and yes. fucks because he's hydrated. Yes. And that's how you get giraffes. Yes, bitch. After you find lower and lower ponds. Uh -huh. So your neck has to get and or tall leaves on tall yep. trees. <laughs> you get that's what that's how evolution is. A little ass horse, you know? So thank you. I know how it works. Old Charlie Darwin over here. <laughs> Chuck Darwin. Chuck Darwin. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, you got my Jew lawyer. Yeah, yeah, My Jew yeah. lawyer is going to take a look at this gym contract <laughs> yeah. for me. Make sure I'm not getting fucked over on my annual rates. <laughs> uh, I love Italians who just are like fucking, you know, guys that work at a bank that talk like, yeah, you know, like they talk like they're fucking mobsters. They're like, oh, I could take that deposit for you. What, you mean they have a New York accent? No, but like they, they make everything <laughs> yeah, seem yeah. like it's fucking... <laughs> they they act like mobsters. That's not, like, that's not a mobster accent. <laughs> you know what the accent. fuck I'm talking about, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Guys who talk like they're in the mob, pretend they're in the mob. They're like, yeah, I'll take that deposit, but you yeah. know, one I think, day I, I will th ask you for a favor. I think we should jail those guys. I don't like their tone. I don't I like the way they jail talk. them. I think, I, I think you shouldn't be able to speak that way. It is true. I don't. I, I don't that? think he was kidding, dude. The kid yeah. had a fucking look of horror in his eyes. Yeah. The, I was kind of like, laughing. because I thought molested? he was doing a bit because everyone was talking about the first time they fucked, mm -hmm. and uh, and one kid like had a fucking thousand uh, thousand mile. What is it? Hundred miles. Thousand thousand miles miles did you just say thousand island stare? You <laughs> no, fat fuck. Thousand mile. Yeah. You, you shit. fucking I don't fuck. fuck. First of all, oh you said God. thousand. Island. Are you I don't even fucking like you that? Doesn't just, matter. That is the I fattest thing you've ever done. Thousand island. You cock. No, you my, just no, did it mile. again. No, now you I just did it again. I said thousand island. I did not say. You said run the tape back. You said thousand island. I literally did say that. This kid's got a thousand island stare in his eyes. This poor baby. This boy. Wait, what, it was what like, was the phrase? It was like the Battle of Numb Pong. Thousand Mile Stare. Thousand Mile. You said Thousand Island. I did not, bro. Yes, you did, dude. I, I vehemently denied saying that. you're sweating, you dude. You're sweating mayo right now. <laughs> I, first of all, ain't nothing wrong with mayo. Mayo is paleo. <laughs> You gotta make really it out good. of good ingredients. You know, I'm. You know, the whole white people be like thing, like... Mayonnaise is legitimately very good. Stav's, I agree. Stav's uh, stuff shell shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck both you cocksuckers. My friend, uh, I won't say his name, but he got fucked by an old black lady. Amber, you missed a great one. Yeah, Stav, so Stav was trying to say thousand yard stare, and he said, "Oh, yard." He yard, said, "He yeah, said thousand right. island stare." <laughs> <laughs> I did not, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I did not, bitch. <laughs> I did not. First of all, what even is that shit? Ketchup and mayo? That's Russian dressing. I don't fuck with it. Box. I don't think I'm going to get That killed. would be very funny. I don't funny. think I'm going to get AIDS. Yeah. You're you probably low risk for AIDS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's probably incredibly low yeah. risk. And that you don't I heard have sex. Stop got AIDS from a trolley what? bright crawler. <laughs> Somehow he managed what? from a what? He managed to get a gummy form of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I put it into my dick hole. I sound with those little gummy worms, dude. Would you suck gummy worms out of a man's penis? You're so Another nasty. one of <laughs> his hypotheticals <laughs> make no sense. And then, and then, yes, would you? you? Know, would you? Like, what if the man had AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Sav asked me, "Would you fuck a woman that's like got a hot body but has an old woman's face?" Yeah, would you? I mean, I would. I would. Yeah. I mean, would I? Yeah. Like, fine, yeah. Okay. Like, well, answer the fucking question. It's not don't make a big like, deal about no, it. No, but the stop move would be if you had said no, and then he's like, what if she had both an old woman's face and an old woman's body? <laughs> yeah. That's not yeah. how this works. Just, you don't understand incentive. <laughs> yeah, like, what is that? Well, would you suck the gummy bears out of a fucking guy's dick? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Apparently, Gavin McInnes came to our show in D.C. Funny no, mobs, funny mobs. Yeah, when? when? I don't know. That's what Amber said. Oh, yeah. Amber said he popped his head in, looked around, and then left. Interesting. Cool. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't he know. wanted to suck us off. Maybe. Would you let him? 
No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't either. Dude, you're so bad at hypotheticals. I'm just asking. Would you let Gavin Begetti? Shoot or shoot, man. <laughs> shoot or shoot. They're not all going to be great, but sometimes... Here's a, I got a hypothetical for you. Would okay, you but let... you're fucking O for 47. No. Would you let Vice... I'm going to warm up at some point. And then there was that one standalone episode with the lesbians. Yes, it. that's the one I was talking about. The that was old ladies yeah. fuck on the internet. Yeah, yeah. And they're hot, too. Hmm? Those two old ladies that fuck when they're I young... They're good to go. They're hot to trot. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're going to die, and you put your fucking brain in a computer. And they're hot. And then you fuck. In the, it's like the 50s or something, and the, or yeah. the 80s, I guess. And then you fuck. Yeah, the 50s or the 80s. It's <laughs> one of the two. Very hard to discern which decade that was. It's the you 80s. Know. It's the 80s. But it, the reason I <laughs> thought the, like 50s the 50s is because when I was... <laughs> this is such a retarded reason, but because I just assume... Things um, about <laughs> fuck, fuck. I got it. Hold on. If you're going uh -huh. <laughs> in the past, uh -huh. if something was in, if the characters went to the past, it was the fifties. But it because but it's set the in the 80s. future, they have to go back. They go to the eighties now. <laughs> watch as we blow Stav's mind by letting him know that the eighties is also the past. <laughs> But we are currently but it's not more, living in the it's 1980s. It's a more recent past, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stavros, who was born in 1989 <laughs> and was alive it's for a, all 10 it's months. It's a more of recent past. 1980s. That's what I mean. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. You boys get it. I don't got to explain it to you. I mean, you do. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make any sense. You, you said know, something it, dumb. And... Anyway, you get it. It's fine. It's all there. Maybe I should. Uh... Clear my nose out with a little, uh, little something, yeah, a little Drano, a little, little nose Drano, a little weed. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Nick tapped his nose, yeah, and snorted. Yeah, I gotta do some weed. Later. <laughs> I gotta snort. I gotta chop up some. Yeah, weed. if you pardon me, I gotta go look at child pornography <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> like, yeah, you know that's worse than cocaine. Right? <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, I thought they were. I thought cocaine was one down from looking at child porn. Damn. Yeah, that's how you get your fix. What if just looking at child porn and you didn't like it, right? Uh -huh. But you looked at it and it did the same thing as cocaine. Would you look at child porn? But it was free. Wait, you mean what if I looked at child porn and it made me look at child porn? No, 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 no. You go to the bathroom and yeah. you open up a picture of a kid. I was making fucked. a joke about what cocaine. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. And you looked at a pic a picture of a kid getting fucked real quick, and it made you feel like you just did some good ass coke. Would you look at child porn? No, that's just being a pedophile. No, 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 because you're not getting horny. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, not, <laughs> oh, yeah. you're not in the you're not in the child porn, but you look at it and you get this incredible rush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of blood rushes yeah, yeah, yeah. to a certain part of your body. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hypothetical? Is that? I, Adam's right, man. You really are bad at hypothetical. No, dude. I'm saying it makes you feel like you did coke, dude. Come on, man. Look, whatever. You spend money on coke. I'm gonna be doing you it for free. You don't looking like, at child yeah, porn. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you you. Fucking. You don't like looking at child porn, but you look at it because you you have to because you're addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, do you do? You get into a bad mood uh, yeah. if you can only if it's been too long. Yeah. Your energy level dips. <laughs> right. You do it because you can't forget the eighties. Back when you had a sitcom. Back when you're on Rodney Dangerfield's Young Comedian Special. <laughs> and now you just move from city to city trying to get younger comics, impressionable younger comics to watch YouTube videos of your act from 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah of Johnny Carson smiling yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the green room. Because, but not because you like it, but because you're addicted to it. Because it feels like drugs. I was a big Greek mythology head as a little boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that Troy's, interest, that was, Troy's yeah. interesting. That was truly my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It contrasts all these different ways that like men specifically look for some degree of immortality or longevity or extending their lives beyond, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's researching Italian. Italian. Uh, yeah, yeah, one of them is literally fucking immortal. The other one is mm -hmm. like his, his dedication ankle. to his family. What's that? Except for his ankle. That's okay. Yeah, we all know that. Huh? Nick? Shut up. Literally, huh? bitch. What if it was his asshole? What what was that was? What if she put her finger in her at in his ass and dipped him in the River Thames? 
Or uh, yeah, sticks. then his ass yeah, would the be river his own sticks. Name. <laughs> the River Thames. Yeah, yeah, the River Thames is where <laughs> is where Greeks go. Whatever, man. Shut the fuck London. up. Is a is the wrong way to say <laughs> river in <laughs> England. I think it makes more sense to call it Thames. It's cooler. Or you say Thames. Is it Thames? Yeah. It's Thames. Thames? That makes no fucking sense. Yes, well, that's Thames. just how they say Thames? It. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm the ass. It's not how. I thought her name was uh, Hermoyne mm. when I used to read the books before I, the movies came out. I thought it was Edmione. Because that's, the Greek, cause that's the Greek. Greek. That's the, it's a Greek name. Hermione, yeah. And they say Hermione, and that shit sounds dumb as hell, if you ask me personally. I think so too. Whatever. <clears throat> Yo, uh, I was just listening to a fucking about Titanic, you know, and it's about like about what Chicago? If Chicago was Titanic. Yep, and, that's a good like, idea. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Chicago shit is hot. Yeah, that, you got a uh, Chirac. Mm. You got uh, what do you mean? You got Chirac? That was like four that movie years from ago. four years ago. Yeah, Chicago. You got I won an Oscar. You got Chicago, was, Miramax like Pictures, ago. Richard Gear, um, Richard Gear Museum. In you got Chicago. Chief Chief Keef, one of the best, one of the hottest rappers. Everyone's <laughs> talking about the Richard Gear Museum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that a real museum? Yeah, there's a yeah. gerbil wing at yeah, the they museum. Have a Richard Gear Museum in Chicago. Yeah. Nice. So it, the, it's in the Willis Tower. The top floor is all like the Richard. There's like a whole, it's like the gerbil experience wing where you go and you're on a wheel for a while Mm -hmm. and then you're like in wood chips taking a shit. Mm -hmm. And then the last room is you go into his asshole. Uh, Yeah. uh, it's it's what's funny is you could have gotten stopped to believe that there was a Richard Gere museum at the top of the Willis Tower if you didn't say that gerbil shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, He'd be like, seriously? Oh, is there not a museum? <laughs> no, I didn't think it was in the fucking Willis Tower, but who knows, man? There you thought there was Gere a Richard Gere museum? Gere museum. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, fucking idiot. There's a Liberace museum. Shut up, bitch. Liberace with your fucking, was with your obvious ass fucking gerbil joke. Oh, yeah. Liberace was a fucking. Actual Staple. gay guy, not, yeah. a, not a gay guy, according to fifth graders. <laughs> okay, that's that's and kind of just like a, sort of a shitty actor that got way too much work. Every gay guy uh-huh. gets a museum. Yeah, Which that's true. It could have been. I guess you're right. What the fuck would be in the Richard Gere museum? <laughs> yeah, I don't right. know stuff from every movie. Yeah, then? officer and just somebody walking around with a Mothman prophecies mug. <laughs> I didn't think it was like a big museum, <laughs> but like right. I'm in a little museum. <laughs> <before>. <laughs> You know, it's like a room. Yeah, you know, yeah. A bunch of shit. Right, check out my Days of Heaven snow globe. <laughs> I got at the, at the Richard Gere Museum. <laughs> I don't know, man. The fuck? There I could be to... a whole part about him not not jizzing, right? Or something? That's Sting. No, it's Richard Gere, too. Mm, I don't think so. He hasn't jizzed in 30 years, I think. I would this see... This whole thing. His ball sack is like his a big suitcase. Fat balls. He's a yeah. Buddhist, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a Buddhist. There's probably, there would be some Buddhist shit in there. Yeah, you could I'm learn just about saying, that. man, there's little fucking shrines to, of guys. That's great, dude. Bonsai, bonsai helps pull you out of the rat books. race. You know what I mean? It's true. You feel like... This, this painful man, existence we all live we, where we do us nothing especially. and just get money for some <laughs> yeah. reason. Yeah. What's that shit they do with, like, sand and then they, like, like rake Zen it? Sand garden. That's a Zen garden. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like you have bonsais you in You get that. one of those at the Richard Gere Museum. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm saying I would I would pop into the Richard Gere Museum for a little bit. Yeah, if they actually had one, I would see why there was a Richard Gere Museum. <laughs> yeah, I would get plane tickets for the three of us yeah. to Chicago. Of course. I mean, of course it would be interesting if it actually existed. But if I was like, let's say there was no such thing as the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, yeah, there's a car shaped like a hot dog that goes around promoting <laughs> the world's shittiest hot dogs. Yeah. You'd be like, seriously? You'd be like, no, you fucking idiot. What would be the point of that? And then they actually made one. And No, that's no. you just proved yourself wrong. No, dude. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes. What was, what, how am I wrong? Because you, didn't, you don't dream to imagine. I don't dream to imagine? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't. Yes, you don't. You don't dare. I'm sorry. You don't dare to imagine. You know, if you told me that thing with the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and it didn't exist, I'd be like, "Great, can't wait to fucking see it." You tell me the thing about Richard Gere Museum, I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty mm-hmm. stupid, but that's cool." Stranger things have happened. You know, I'd love to go in yeah. and see. You know, the deleted scene where he actually penetrates Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. I'd like to see that. Did he do that? Oh yeah. Whoa. 
That's yeah, because fun. I dreamed to believe. You dreamed to imagine. <laughs> Wait, he, he penetrates who? He fucks Julia Roberts in the deleted scenes, and that's part of what's in the Richard Gere Museum. Does that actually... Is, is there a video of him penetrating Julia Roberts? Yes. Well, I don't know. I mean, you can see fucking Christopher Lambert's balls in Fortress. Yeah. Well, in the world where the Richard Gere Museum exists, yeah, there is video of that. That's the world I live in, Nick. Okay? Yeah. A beautiful world where you could see his dick going to Richard Gere Roberts' about this? pussy. Because they're the worried museum. about doing numbers at the Richard Gere Museum. They have mm -hmm. the Gear and Space Museum. Oh. It's the Air and Space Museum featuring Richard Gere. <laughs> yep. That's like, like that. that's a fucking, that's a twofer. Right? That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's, exa that's a great idea. That's a good gear and space museum. <laughs> it just becomes a dumbass idea for a museum if it's just Richard Gear <laughs> to a very good deal. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because yeah. then you got, you got Richard Gear and you got space. Then you go see a fucking <laughs> yeah, shuttle. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah uh. dude. You can go see the, the, like, I believe by 19, <laughs> by the end of the decade, we will put a man on the moon. <laughs> yeah, you just go into the next room, and it's like, but it's some kind of moth man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then what's the one where his wife cheats on him? Uh, unfaithful. Yeah. Yeah. That's we talked one. about that the other day. I used to check off to that movie. That was a, that's a hot movie. She really gets pounded out by that guy. By that Spanish guy. And mm -hmm. then he kills her at the end. He does? Yeah. And he goddamn what? gets, he kills him. He kills the, the other man. Oh, Richard Gere kills the guy? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The other guy, uh, uh, Diane Lane, gets railed the fuck out in like a staircase. Ooh. I used to jack off to that. That sounds pretty good. All the time. I mean, America with three Ks is the dumbest shit anyone's ever Who come did? Up Ice, Cube. Ice Cube came up with that, yeah. America I mean, I'm sure he didn't come up with it, but. Yeah. That's like the dumbest. It's so stupid. I think the first time they. Dave came out with it. It was pretty good. Probably. It's like the night is young. The first time someone said that, that must have been cool, dude. The night is young. The night is yeah, young. Yeah, cool. That, you must have felt the first guy no. who said that. No, if I had never heard <laughs> that and someone said that to me, I would be. Boo! Yeah. No, that's because you don't no. like, you don't have a sense of, remember, you don't dream to imagine, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who said you don't, that? I did. You don't, <laughs> you don't dream you don't, you don't have a sense of fucking. What do you do, you taxes in your dreams? It'd be great when they have like a fat statue of you outside an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dream to imagine <laughs> the Stavros Halkia school for kids that were too stupid to get into regular special education. <laughs> no, they have to be both fat and stupid. Yeah, Thank you seven, very much. Seven periods of lunch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> One period of the teacher is drunk, so we're going to watch prices, right? <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm about to fucking make a Stavros Halkia's home for exceptional... Exceptionally fat. The home for the criminally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring, we need to bring that term back. Illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fuck with the show Ghost Rider as a kid? Did you like that show? Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. Yes, yeah, yeah. I love that show. I liked it, but I didn't understand it. It what fucked my head up. What do you mean you didn't understand it? I watched it a lot, and I didn't retain much of it. <laughs> Hold on. It was, it was just really heavy. It was like yeah. a ghost, yeah. right? It's so straightforward. <laughs> it's four kids that are friends with a ghost. <laughs> I just don't remember what happened in it, you know? So I chalked that up to not understanding it as a kid. Uh, uh, I used to watch Barney, but I couldn't put it together. <laughs> it was like, what is this? This is like Lost <laughs> Yeah. Gotta yeah. go online and fucking, the diagrams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like a David Lynch endeavor. <laughs> no, there's a it's, it's like not thriller. About Greek food. It's probably the best thriller. I know people are gonna have a problem with me saying that, but I, I saw. I, a I can rewatch. I can rewatch Silence of the Lambs like probably every single fucking day. That is like it's like the perfect thriller. Nice. Um, he's only in, he's not in that long, right? Or some shit. Who? Anthony Hopkins. No, yeah, he he's, in, time he's in the entire movie. <laughs> I thought he's in it like 20 minutes or His some face shit. is on the cover of the movie. I yeah. know, but I thought... <laughs> I, I thought he like... Well, this, this film, are there lambs I thought that's what was so good about his acting. <laughs> was that he was barely lambs? in it and he was that good. Are was, there lambs? I mean, maybe he's, like he's not... Hero? Maybe he's not like... I mean, he's not in it as much as fucking... Uh, uh, what's her name? Starling or... What's the... Jodie right, Foster. Jodie Foster, yeah. But I mean, he's definitely like... 
as, in a, as a supporting role, like yeah, yeah, prominently yeah. featured in the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. to say that Anthony Hopkins is barely in silence. <laughs> that he's Atlanta. not in it that much for so much starring in a movie <laughs> is my point. He's I not think. a supporting cast. All right, well, that, that's yeah, he's in it. He's in it probably as much as uh, what, Ken Levine or or what's his Buffalo name? Buffalo Bill. Yeah, yeah, Buffalo Bill. Nice. I was like, I was joking with somebody. <laughs> I want to do like a like a magic like a street magician special or whatever uh-huh. where but you do things where it's like um i'm like all right i'm gonna think of a number between one and two thousand i'm gonna think about it and then you say the first number that pops into your head four thousand four, uh one thousand you got it wrong so. Eight, nine, nine, <laughs> you said four thousand nine hundred forty two <laughs> You already broke the... You, I don't know how you found a way. <laughs> you said between 1 and 2,000, you were like 4,000. Oh, I, I don't understand how you found a way to ruin this. <laughs> I was, all right, but I said 942. That's my real answer. Anyway, anyways, the street magician's like, yeah, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 2,000. And the first number that pops in your head, I want you to say. Yeah, 14. That was the number. Yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was it. That was the number. <laughs> White boy magic. And then he walks over. That is time. good. Did you ever listen to your mom get fucked from no, the other room? Never. I, my mom has not. My mom probably hasn't fucked for 20 years. Whoa, really? Yeah. Well, 19. No, I don't know about that. What do you mean, 19? Or I mean, one year. <laughs> One. Year. I was trying to say I fucked her last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was re- that was good, man. It's like I fucked her when I was um nine, so nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good hypothetical. One thing I was wondering uh, hypothetically was if you told <laughs> this is so good with the Harvard shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. This is good. this you know. If you told the religious guy, <laughs> yeah, let him, right. let him finish. If you told, my understanding, this is what advanced philosophy yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? This is two hundred level. Class. Yeah. yeah. If you hold the mic like this too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if if I if you told the religious guy that yeah. Jesus had a little dick, mm-hmm. would he be mad? <laughs> Would he be? Because yeah. what, then what are you saying? This is you can just say hypothetical. That's not a hypothetical. That's not the meaning of a hypothetical. <laughs> I literally test that immediately. There's zero consequences. Well, would he find be mad? The guy that's religious okay, it's a thought experiment then. All right? It's not mm-hmm. a hypothetical. No, the whatever. hypothetical would be if Jesus had a small dick mm-hmm. and you could prove it, then mm-hmm. would, it, would it hurt people's faith uh. or give them more faith? Well, that's what I'm trying to know, because mm-hmm. if you're mad, what are you saying? That little dicks are bad, but also, which is fucked up, but also, for no, I don't care. I'm just saying in general it's bad. Uh-huh. The way it's bad to be mean to anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have a personal stake in that. Mm-hmm. I just mean in general it's yeah. bad. But just, al- It would make sense if he just had like an awful tiny dick, and then he's just letting the Romans kill him, and he's like, yeah, it's because I'm God's son. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's why I'm allowing this to happen. <laughs> not for any other reason. That's true. He didn't put. They're going to take off all his clothes. He's like, please, just let me keep the rope part on my car. <laughs> let me keep the diaper. <laughs> I'll wear a diaper. <laughs> it's worse than nude. <laughs> just give me a diaper. Put the thorns on my head. I don't give a shit. <laughs> just let me keep the diaper on. <laughs> yeah. They don't have a phone number. There's no phone. Here's number. what I think of Patreon. It's like, I'm not some fucking anime <laughs> faggot drawing pictures of Donald Duck, you know, <laughs> yeah. as, like as Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. I'm a legitimate both sailors. fucking businessman. Donald Duck yeah. and Sailor Moon are both sailors. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> That is a good point. I actually, I'm, I'm going to give it to Sav on that one. I didn't say that it I'm going to give it to Sav on that one. I said that's not who I am. <laughs> He's just drawing connections. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, yeah. go from column A to column that's, B. That is true. Both Shadow the Hedgehog and Shadow from Homeward Bound are both named Shadow, so it would true. make sense if they were fucking each other. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I stand corrected. Uh-huh. Maybe Patreon shouldn't be answering my emails. What <laughs> 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 the fuck point are you making? <laughs> Pointing something out, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet. Yeah. That's the thing about this show. It works on different levels, man. A lot different of free layers. association. You got the whole. Listen, you got the through line. I'm coming through with little Easter eggs. Yeah. You know, for uh-huh. everybody else. I'd rather Nick stay in his apartment all day than me stay in my. I apartment won't stay in my apartment. But that's the thing. It's 
What are you talking about? Even when we did Also, when I stay in my apartment, I get things done. I get writing done. I get things done, too. I just don't tell you guys about it. You just said you did. No, I just like going outside. You model clothes for Dasha for her to wear to her auditions later? Of course. I try on her outfits first. She wants to see how it looks on a smaller frame. What was that storyline where I was wearing all of Dasha's clothes? Yeah, yeah. We put them on and we fucked each other. We also fucked each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, this is you. Then we ride a motorcycle between her ass and her pussy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was a really fun bit. <laughs> that about, was a good one about raping my girlfriend, make, whoa, forcing, whoa, forcing her whoa, to be forcing whoa, her to be whoa. naked. No, it was consensual in the fantasy. No, it was not consensual. She comes home and she literally doesn't have anything to wear because you're wearing all of her uh, clothes. Checkmate. <laughs> so yeah. you're forcing her. I'm a, to be I'm naked. a sexual genius. <laughs> yeah, sexual, sexual villain. villain, dude. <laughs> That's right. That's okay. how it comes full circle. Uh huh. That's stop. Uh, That's your my my sexual villain sidekick name is full circle. The full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Bring me that lady's clothes. Uh, I can't wait to be the full circle. <laughs> and that's how I pose. I can shrink into smaller circles, and I pose next to titties. Oh, and they, cool. I sneak into their bras. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just some dumbass woman being like, what's this? Oh, that must be my third tit. <laughs> that must have always had. No, I would target women with mastectomies yeah. who, ha- who uh, forget. Oh, that, yeah. That they got oh, that's right. I do off. have a tit that's a small Greek man <laughs> no, whose power is that he shrinks himself to sneak into bras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, next to, I'm not even touching the other titty I'm just in yeah. a different cup <laughs> I love the logic and physics of your mind Oh, it's a fantastic it place. It it's a beautiful <laughs> mind It your just mind doesn't, is, make, it just mind doesn't a, make any yeah. sense <laughs> You're, you think in cartoons. It's, much, it's, it's like Mary Poppins reason. cartoon world. It's pure reason, mind. and it's beyond our comprehension. That's yeah. right. We can't really, we don't understand what's happening, but it makes sense. I'm at the next level, baby. <laughs> yeah, to be like, well, I don't know if you, it would be cool if you raped my girlfriend. He's like, look, Donald Duck and Sailor Moon are both sailors. <laughs> sailors. <laughs> and they're like, well... I guess. I guess. I'm just pointing stuff out. Brother. I guess that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. I guess those two add up in a way, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> oh fuck! Look at this. These got these ice agents. Literally, they're wearing fucking Darth Vader masks. Yeah, dude. I mean, they're fucking pieces of shit. But I mean, it's got a Darth Vader mask on. Do you think ice could truly fuck the sh- fuck shit up? Like, what do you mean? I don't know, man. Do you think... I don't even know. understand that question. Do you think that... Do I truly think that ice could fuck <laughs> shit up? Like, okay, they're fucking training them with guns and shit more so and <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Damn, dude. Stop's, fucking, stop's question hour. Fucking... Damn, I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm kind of... I'm actually scared That's a little right. bit. That's right. Articulate, my brother. I'm actually scared a little bit that these motherfuckers might do some raids. They're talking about denaturalizing fucking... Already citizens. What about what if they come from my mom, dude? Who's saying that, dude? That was some fucking guy on Twitter said it, dude. So it must be fucking true. Yeah. I can't. Little Venetia can't be back in Greece. You'll never be happy, and neither <laughs> will anyone else. Right? <laughs> no, that's man. The truth. You will be happy. What are you being a bitch for? Why I, not? I feel like I've been getting happy. If you're never gonna be happy, then then it doesn't matter if you're not happy. No, that's some fucking dumbass Buddhist shit, dude. Yeah, I'm Buddhist, dude. Are I've you? been learning about Buddha. People seem to go Buddhist. I've been smoking that Indonesia, dude. People seem to go Buddhist and claim it's like a religion. Is it? What? <laughs> Is it? it feels Did you hear like, that sentence? Yeah, Nick? people go Buddhist and claim that it's a religion. Isn't it like and claim fucking... to think that it's a religion. <laughs> just, isn't it just that I wish sentence? I could be as dumb as stop. <laughs> you could be, dude. Dude, that, that's... Just, a... just fucking surrender. Don't think. Um, yeah. Say whatever the fuck comes into your head. My little brother actually put his finger in a light bulb. He sh- my man got electrocuted as a little kid. Damn. His fucking thumbnail was black for like four years. And his fucking hair straight up stood up. Wait, like like inside of the glass, like the filament? No, no, touched? no. Like the little fucking, if you unscrew the glass, the little electric part. The sock. You put it, his sock, yeah. Oh, the, fuck. You unscrew the glass, the little <laughs> electric part. <laughs> You're like the amount, the, the lack of access you have to the English language is fucking astounding. You know what the fuck I mean. I, I, we know, but like you should also just know what a socket is. That's not what a socket is, man. Yeah, but who was it that called electrical outlets the holes? I don't know, but what I like that? it. Stop. I it wasn't remember. me. 
Somebody's but like, I wish it was. You know, the holes. <laughs> I didn't know. Just the Who holes? Said that? I can't remember. I can't remember the context. It might have been from something, but they just didn't know it was called so an funny. outlet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's hilarious. Free Today's episode stone. is brought to you by Cracklin' Oat Brand. Oh, really? My favorite cereal. You really like that shit? I love that shit. Crackling it was my first oats? favorite cereal. Is that that the it was little... the first cereal oh, I was even aware of. When you could that you could have a favorite, and mine was Cracklin' Oat Brand, and it continues to this day. Wait, is that is that's not Grape Nuts, is it? Like no, the little no. okay. Grape Nuts is a completely different thing. Okay. <laughs> it's a different brand. It's not the word that I said. <laughs> I know, but I thought <laughs> no. Hold on, mm. hold on. Let me explain myself. Mm. I thought maybe Cracklin', Cracklin Oat, Oat, Oat Brand. It's not Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <That's not> a... <laughs> no. We're talking oatmeal. <laughs> what I thought it was was maybe a generic version of Grape Nuts. No. No, it's Cracklin' Up brand. It's own, it's his own thing. Brand, not brand. brand. Is this like Raisin Brand without the raisins? Um, no. Um, but answer my question. What's the question? If your dick tasted like a strawberry, would you suck it? Or at the very least, would you run your finger across the head and then put your finger in your mouth to get a little bit of the flavor? I mean, why not? There's really no... There's no... <laughs> I don't know. If there's no... What's the... What's the, if you're what's that the bad part of that, that scenario? Also, it would probably be warm, which is not the way you typically interact. With I got, I've gotten head, like I've gotten tip before, in a self sex scenario when I was younger and more limber. I yeah. don't think I could do it anymore. Yeah. Also, it was weird to have a penis in my mouth. Well, not for you. the first time it was, yeah, but you've gotten used to it since, right? What do you mean, Nick? Would you suck your own dick if it tastes like strawberries? It's not a good hypothetical. Um, <laughs> my own dick if it tasted like strawberries. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. I would suck my own dick if it tasted like... Um, like a uh, shit of another man's ass, yeah. which you do a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you got to clean it. <laughs> you got to clean it off. Globes. And, yeah, and, and I made a video once where, I, where it was like... Uh, it was, these were like early ass video, like camera phones, I guess. Mm. Or, I think I had a little... I had like a little handheld weird video thing. Um, anyway, a handheld weird video thing. <laughs> a camera. <laughs> he said camera. He said camera three times in different contexts. Yeah, but it was like and it was he said, smaller, oh, it was bro. camera phones, or maybe it was like a web. Anyways, I had this handheld weird <laughs> video thing. It was smaller though than a camera. Yes, it wasn't a camera. It was just weirdly shaped. <laughs> a handheld. <laughs> my God. It was. It was the shape of a cell phone now, but it was like a little fatter and a boxier. Anyway, okay. it was a camera. Fuck okay. you. The Griffith there, Park yeah, Observatory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? Never been just, there. I don't know. It's a fucking pendulum, but just getting mad it's at a Foucault's child for having pendulum? those physics yeah. problems. But it's not. It's the other Foucault. It's the math. One. Oh, not the philosopher. Yeah, not. There's the, two Foucaults. I yeah, thought. I didn't the, know there was the, another one. What is it? The post-structuralist, and then there's the one that does math. Yeah, I think. Now, what's post-structuralism? Oh, you know. I don't know. Some gay shit. Some, <laughs> some easy shit. Some, you what's know? the structure that they're at? I won't after? learn it because it's too easy, personally. Yeah. yeah. So philosophy literally is just Well, anyways, like learning how pendulums work from, a, from like a, a <laughs> yeah. third grader. Right? It is. What's that? <laughs> philosophy is just asking basic-ass questions. Yeah, like... Like, uh, what is stuff? Uh, <laughs> what are things? Kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> this would be a great stand up shot of you. Yeah. <laughs> With a microphone. Stop What you is know, what's stuff? the meaning of something? You know what I mean? Yep. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. Sure. You know? I think yes. science asks questions, basic science, questions. Science has more complicated shit they're dealing with. I think philosophy can get pretty complicated. It can, yeah, it can be pretty complicated. I guess they do like good ass hypotheticals sometimes. Yeah, too. Well, at a certain point, they <laughs> a lot to think about. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good ass hypothetical right there. I watched yeah. Alien last night on this TV. How was it, man? Looks great, man. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Mm -hmm. The Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Sigoff me wiener. Sigoff me wiener. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, she looks so much like Danzig in that movie. Oh yeah, is that why you're attracted to her? Uh, well, it's why I'm attracted to Glenn Danzig. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a real chicken or the egg situation. Uh huh. Yep, that's what that expression means. Yeah. When two <laughs> things look like each other, you go, wow. That's, yeah, no, that's, is, is this a chicken stop. or an egg? Time out. I'm right. I don't bitch. know. What's the difference no, between. No, no. Stop. We, break it down. Let's see. I it. will break it down. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Who's the here's, sexual here's, attraction? Which came first? Do you want to fuck Danzig because she lo he looks like Sigourney stop Weaver? Stop can't tell the difference. Or do you want to fuck Sigourney Weaver because it's she looks not, like Danzig? That's not chicken and egg. That is chicken or the egg. Stop That is chicken or the egg, motherfucker. I heard you out. I heard you out. 100%. 
that's textbook chicken of the that's year. Not- <laughs> <laughs> Which came first? Danzig wanting to fuck Danzig or wanting to fuck Sigourney but Weaver. But that doesn't mean that it's a chick in the egg. It is, though. Scenario. This is a classic a chicken, chicken the gives egg. birth to an egg. No. Right? And no. then the egg what it means and then grows <laughs> into no, a chicken. No. That's, yeah, but no. then if that's the case, then Thank- you could never use the saying. Because it would right. only apply to one fucking things thing. Things that give birth to this things. Is, well, things that are a... analogous to that. Yeah. yeah. Things that give birth analogy. to things. That's, no, that's that actually not what that means. Well, guys, it could you be can literally actually, more figurative. You can actually just place bets on this shit. Can you, oh, no, can yeah. you yeah. use it in a sentence then in your in your definition yeah. for something Which else? Which came first, than... the chicken or the egg? Place your bets at bet the What came first, the cow or the calf? I mean, these are the only things that give birth to. If you go to bet the aside. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, thank you, Bonnie. I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet that Bonnie's right at bet the aside. <laughs> You'll fit in here. No problem. I will never agree with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the idea. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, Dude, I watched yeah. Adaptation again. Nah, yeah. Fuck that movie. Man, he's he's so you don't like that it? movie is amazing. Uh, I'm too stupid to get it, man. What do you mean? It's there's nothing to get. I don't it, like. It's not. I, I, I just don't. No, what's the big a fucking esoteric. deal? It is. He it, becomes himself or something, and then he's. No, he what the a, fuck is the orchid? Who cares? And then we're following whatever no, some other a, bitch. It's, a, it's an article written in the New Yorker that he's adapting. Oh right. Right. So that's that's why it's called adaptation. Okay, and it's but about, then and at the, the end is, he's the himself is about or something. A New Yorker, or is that uh, is about an orchid thief? Well, he's driving out of the fucking parking lot, and it is him or it's not him. What's going on? Is, is there like a double? <laughs> <laughs> what for? Real? Is he imagining himself? Is it always him? I, no thanks, man. Let me watch Dread. <laughs> Let me watch a motherfucker get shot in the fucking head. You didn't even know what Dread was until I showed it to you. Yeah, I, I'm saying that's yeah. exactly my kind of genre, and I knew what it no, was. If bitch. you had known about it, you would have. That would if it, it was your thing, you would have already. known I thought you would no. like that movie because the scene where he beats off to the picture of Meryl Streep on the book jacket. Respect well, he to beats that. Off, yeah, yeah. He beats off to every one. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie. <laughs> listen, respect. But not even like her body, yeah. just her. Face. The best is when he's. I've like, done that. When he's like <laughs> beating off to fucking like Tilda Swinton. Whoever his fucking like literary yeah, yeah, yeah. agent is, yeah. she's just reading the book. She's like, "Oh, you're a genius." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, oh, fuck, fuck my dicks. Whatever, oh, man. Fuck that adaptation. My That's my take. Yeah. Is there In no like, like magic or like weird shit? I don't even remember that, that happens what, in what, adaptation. You just saw it. Yeah. There's, there's, is there? I don't think there's like. A, is there some kind of magic or some kind of? <laughs> <laughs> is there like something spell? like that for real? No, there's no magic. No, I don't think so. So the is. guy is the guy the whole time. He's not imagining anything. Yeah, he imagines things like much like well, most he's people. writing himself into the story, and yeah. then his, he becomes a fictionalized version of himself. It's uh, okay. There is an imagination aspect to it, okay. but I would say that a human being does he ever interact? I would say that you, for instance, <laughs> imagining that you're fucking someone isn't you're not doing <laughs> magic. Magic, your brain. first of all, it absolutely it's not a is. magical. If no, I, it's if just it, something that we're. But all does he ever interact doing. with the fake version of himself? It's not the like fake does a, does a fake guy it's come his, out of the fucking movie and knock brother. on his door or some shit? What are you talking about? It's his twin. Doesn't brother. that happen? Oh, like in the movie? Yeah, like the guy from the yeah, movie. Yeah, he becomes part. It all just sort of wraps in on itself. It's like sort of spiral. But then the fake guy he's imagining, does he ever like knock on his fucking door and he comes out and he's Wait, looking at. Third in... Nick Cage? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing like that. that? Is it, yeah. What do you mean, is it magic? <laughs> Nothing like that it's ever not magic. He's just imagining. Oh, maybe I confuse his brother <laughs> with like a magic version of himself. Well, or something. going into it, you have to understand that like <laughs> the Charlie Whatever, Kaufman man. is a real guy. Yeah, and the main yeah. character's name is Charlie Kaufman. Yeah, but he always does weird shit. And like, uh, well, Charlie Kaufman is a real guy. That woman, uh, what's her name, Orlean or whatever, is a real person. Like all of these. Susan are real. Orlean. Yeah, he that- was hired to adapt the screenplay. Did he ever do it? That, well, that, that, that was the is. script they turned in. That was the adaptation oh, of the book. Because he said Pop that. Out, right? sucks. That was literally... <laughs> the, fuck that, dude. He didn't Why? Do it's a job. book about flower thieves. Yeah, let's that's fucking... A be- that's that better. sounds cool to me. No, I don't, he, so he, he, I don't think that's... They hired him key. to adapt the movie, and then he turned in that script after... Because they... Op- you know, he showed it to... What's her mm. name? Susan Orlean. And initially, she was like, fuck no, we're not fucking making this movie. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She did what Sam just said. Yeah, yeah. which she should have done. This. She should have stuck to her guns. Fuck and then they you. made it, and it's one of the greatest movies of all no, time. it sucks. I think it's really good. If you don't like Charlie 
Charlie Kaufman. You're you have no. I help. like I like Charlie no, Kaufman. I can, like that you one. You can go ahead and just back the fuck out of the entertainment industry. Stop doing stand up. No, you're suck not, my you're dick. Off the podcast. What is Charlie <laughs> Kaufman? Charlie <laughs> Kaufman can suck my dick. No, honestly. you're up, not allowed stop. to be an artist anymore. Don't talk out. No, of I like I like Charlie Kaufman. I just didn't like fucking adaptation. You're not allowed to have a hilarious did you body like, and voice. Did you like any of his other movies? He did Eternal Sunshine. Eternal right? Sunshine, of course. I'm and a, that movie's got a lot of. I'm an emotional little thought. I get that. Yeah, but he does magic. That by yeah, well, people's brains. That's I mean, straightforward to me. It's, Wait, it's magic. not straightforward. It's it's magic. <laughs> yeah, but there's that not a confusing the number like of Nick Cage's. <laughs> I get it. Science. Everyone's going it's in. Science. <laughs> <laughs> there's an explanation behind that one. There's a machine and shit. <laughs> fucking adaptation. I don't know. And then and then it's a fucking. We don't learn shit about the flowers. <laughs> the flowers <laughs> seem cool. The little lotus and shit. I'm on board on the actual shit. The guy shit. in the swamp trying to find the yes. flowers. That's your shit. Put me, give me some galoshes. Let me get in the swamp, baby. Yeah. Kenneth Longer in like But it my is dick. kind of funny because that movie came out like a month after The Sopranos premiered. And like, yeah, stop. Your last name is. No, it isn't. Whatever you're saying, it isn't. <laughs> stop. Longer in a man's ass than it is a woman's pussy. No, <laughs> no. That one, it feels better. <laughs> Wait. You're gay. Oh, what if you have that magical power where your dick is huge but only in a man's ass? <laughs> would it drive so you? Just be would gay. it drive you to being gay? I think of course, so. Of course. So once again, we return to you not understanding what magic means. <laughs> That's you're magic. Hold on magic. a second. That is magic. Your dick getting bigger in a man's ass than a woman's pussy. That's textbook magic. That's uh, that is that's the textbook defi- magic. The definition of black girl magic. The most magical guy I know in terms uh, of thinking. Uh, thank you. You you have a magical brain. Thank you. I like that black girl magic is like having a LinkedIn page. Yeah. <laughs> it's not magic it's a, at all. It's magic. <laughs> having references <laughs> yeah, that right. people can call <laughs> that aren't fake right. numbers. <laughs> right. Business cards. Anyway, I'm just saying that is exactly what magic is. I guess that's... I mean... Whatever. I tell you what, guys. This is... I didn't even think about it. The zipper came off my fucking parka. Oh my god! It's North Face, so it's got a lifetime it's, warranty. Yeah, you can send it back. Well, you, I send it back, but then you, I now I just don't have a fucking winter jacket for like two it months. It takes them a long time. Yeah, those so, fucking pricks. I know. I should have thought it's about that. It's the heat that. of the fucking winter. It's the heat of the winter. It's the heat. That is the, the perfect winter. way to describe <laughs> winter. It is the heat of it, bitch, and you know what I mean, mm-hmm. both of you assholes. Yeah, the heat the, of the winter. The heat. It is the heat of my <laughs> All right. You don't even say the heat of the summer. You could say the height. It's the, no, it's the heat of it, bitch. It's the heat of the night. <laughs> the heat yeah, of the exactly. Night you wouldn't even say. Racism. You wouldn't even. If you said, "Oh boy, it's the heat of the summer," you'd sound like a retard. Yeah. Well, a heat of the winter, I would argue, makes more sense. It, no, it does. It's more of a beautiful metaphor. Of course, you would argue that. Then heat of the summer which is too literal but i guess a couple dumb fucks like you don't understand poetry the meat the meat of the bone the meat mm-hmm. of my penis. You, of the shit bone. we gotta think about summer plans summer vacations you know what i'm saying yeah we're well, going well, to canada oh that is true we are going, yeah, to, we're canada. going to canada for a while like two weeks no yep should we go snowing, skiing? We should go snowing. Should we go snowing? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers. Yeah, I love what that. I, was talking yeah. about. I don't know if they got snow in the I summer. mean, I'd love to. Just, what? The degree in which you've just turned your brain completely off. Bro. To do I, this podcast. I truly, <laughs> truly am just, <laughs> just <laughs> asking basic ass questions. Should we go snowing? Should we go snowing? <laughs> no, I think. <laughs> I think you got to go pretty north to go snowing in Canada. All right, let's go fucking north. Oh, damn, my apple's in the freezer. Can an apple freeze? Yes. Absolutely. Hold on. Yeah, it's filled with water. You'd be surprised to find out that most things can freeze. (laughs) Bananas can freeze. What can apples freeze? People can freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. You can freeze, like, <laughs> as you're trying to lecture me on the no, cost man, system. I'm just saying. Like, understanding. Will it freeze solid? or Because, like, you're grapes, underst- no, no, because grapes don't freeze solid. They still are a little bit. understanding a little of the physical world. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, can it freeze to the point that I can't eat it? That's what I meant. And I'm sorry for and not And how is your clear. apple doing now? I put it in the fridge. Damn. What the fuck is this thing? What thing? This is awesome. It's the planet Earth. 
Fuck, dude. What do you mean, what is this thing? Like the Look, cla- Look what he just asked, what is this? That's insane. <laughs> just, this, is that, what is that, lava? It, it's, no, it's <laughs> lights from cities. Oh, shit. It's, 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 it's like a fucking mile above the surface. I thought it was planet. lava. No. Are you sure, man? Yes. Over there at the end, that's not lava. No, these are cities. Hmm. And there's lightning storm, though. That's cool. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, <laughs> what the hell is it? It could not more clearly just nah, be the Earth. dude. That looks like lava. These are clouds. I've got the clouds. I didn't think. I thought that was like bright ass lava, but I guess now I sort of. See. Well, hold on. I mean, I get it does look like lava. I think but it's, it's lava. Not. It's not lava. That's not lights, dude. Well, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm telling you, that's definitely the Earth. It lo- All right. The, the, yeah, it looks like. How a city would spread out and be dense in the middle of the Nah, out bro, like that. that shit's lava. It's not lava. What the fuck? What's that, that, bro? At the very end, the cracks and shit? More cities. <laughs> it's just those are fucking streets. No. It's not lava. We'll look this up later and we'll let you go. Oh, fuck, it's gone. We'll never know now. Thomas, Elevator? Thomas Jefferson invented almost everything. Thomas Jefferson? Yeah, he invented our democracy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Why did you say Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> as opposed to what George Jefferson? Yeah, I don't know. One right. of the other Jefferson. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly after saying it, I was like, "Yes, you fucking idiot, Thomas Jefferson." <laughs> if you can Love get it. your dick sucked while getting shampooed, it's that is my ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Seriously, I, I get it. I get a seventy five percenter every time I mm-hmm. get my hair shampooed. Yep, I love it. By Japanese men? Um, yes. Recently, it has been by a <laughs> Japanese man. Listen, I'm equal opportunity when it comes to shampoo. It um, is erogenous. <clears throat> erogenous? Yeah, my scalp is an erogenous zone. Would you let a man um, massage, give you that shampoo, but it was the tip of his penis? What do you mean? Would I allow him to shampoo my hair with his penis? No. But it's the best because shampoo. It would, but hold on. Because hold the, on. The hand, you have I'm ten not, fingers. I'm not done, Adam. Yes. But it's the best massage shampooing you've ever experienced. But you know it's with the tip of a man's penis. Well, if it's the best. Would you allow it? If you're saying it's the best. It's the best you've, you'll ever experience. Fine. <laughs> it's fucking gay, dude. It's not gay. It's the best. <laughs> He's hard, and he he comes in your hair. By the way, at the end. Okay, you didn't, you didn't say ask. That. You didn't ask. Well, if he came in my hair, then I, my hair wouldn't be clean. Well, anymore. he would wash it again with a soft dick. Well, that if he <laughs> washed it again, then maybe. <laughs> Nick, how about you? I don't know. I can't figure. I'm trying to imagine how that would even work. It doesn't work. It, it's China. Hand- it's a Japanese secret. The, that they teach in their little in their hair dojo. The Japanese hands are perfectly modeled for a perfect uh, shampoo slash scalp massage. First of all, you're again. You guys are not dreaming to imagine. This is your, you have a uh, real. Uh, <laughs> is that going to be like the it's the my, tagline of your, that's yeah of for your production? It's, it's going to dream to imagine. Yeah, Stavi baby. And it's, no, it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Yeah, actually, yes, it is. And Which it's, means that you're mo- not capable of Im- imagination while you're awake. You have mm-hmm. to dream to have, do it. You're not dream. The point is, you're letting hard Nick. You're letting the real, the technical realities get in the way of a I beautiful feeling. I don't feeling. visualize. I only think in abstractions. Well, there you go. Think of it abstractly. Then. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't understand the concept of, <laughs> of a man's penis massaging your head. Conceptually, no. I mean, mm-hmm. the mathematics have to add up or it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work physically. In the physical idiots, world. Man. Maybe if it was 10 guys. You have your see. eyes closed. Maybe there is. Who knows? If it's You have your guys, eyes closed. Mimicking. But see, the thing about the human hand is you have joints and you have the... You have Stop the, getting into specific. You already answered, by the way. You said yes. Fine, yes. I don't care. <laughs> so don't try and take back now. I don't even want a regular scalp massage. Wow. wow. Are you yeah. kidding? Yes. I mean, no. Well, you said yes. Well, I meant, but that's when people are like, do you mind? And you're like, yes. I mean, no. <laughs> what a dumb question. What kind of, who is the first that asshole to be like, do you mind if I sit here? Somebody's like, yes. You know, and then he's like, oh, you do mind? It's like, no. Just, Just ask sit. if you can sit yeah, there, you yeah, fucking yeah. asshole. Can I sit here? I do mm-hmm. now. I agree with you on that one. What are you, the Riddler? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Just uh, ask yes. directly what you want. Mm-hmm. He's so horny for Maggie Gyllenhaal. 
uh-huh. that he stop he forgets that he's about there's to die. a movie where she's where i was secretary? secretary oh yeah yeah where she's getting i have jacked off to secretary yeah yeah we, we all know 100 the, the one maggie where she had her fastball yeah that's when she was really uh peaking would you, i mean would you rather fuck maggie or jake <laughs> maggie <laughs> How about a serial killer that is trained to use his powers to only kill bad guys? It's like, well, how about you just watch the Iron Giant and shut the fuck yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Iron Giant already did it. <clears throat> it's yeah. better. It's about Harry Connick Jr. and a boy <laughs> <laughs> teaching a feared and respected giant. Wait, is the Iron Giant <laughs> live action? Erectile I thought it was a cartoon. <laughs> Wait, it's, <laughs> um, no, it's a cartoon. It's, they didn't actually make a giant. Yeah. We just keep talking about Harry Connick Jr. There's the guy. There's a voice. He, yeah, he does the voice. Do they draw him to look like? They him? don't draw the voices stuff. Do they, do they <laughs> draw does. him to look like? The Harry voices Connick aren't Jr. drawn in animation. <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> does, the, does the character look <laughs> like? Does the character I think look like Harry Connick animation Jr. Stuff. <laughs> Stop, you can't draw a voice, man. <laughs> yeah, you could. Come on, bro. I'm saying, does he look like Harry Connick Jr.? You know what? We're hold 30, on. dude. We should know you can't draw voices. Hold on, hold on. Here's why stops technically not wrong. Oh Thank gosh, you. because Let's on, hear it. on the on the the cell, like the you could technically you. draw a sound. That's wave. what I meant. Next, <laughs> that's what I meant. If you had some autistic ability <laughs> to be able to transcribe sound waves, you could uh-huh. theoretically draw a sound. That's wave. what I meant. Thank that's you. That's what stop meant. Like grooves in a record. Yeah. So I guess he was right to ask if Harry Connick Jr. If it was. <laughs> If they draw drew a voice that sounds no, like did they <laughs> draw him to look like Harry Connick Jr. No, he's he just plays the voice of the guy. Yeah. Okay. Didn't she molest a kid? Yeah, something like that. I don't know if she molested or she drove drunk with kids in the car. Or some well, that's shit. all right. That's yeah. just being a parent. Would you rather molest a kid or drive drunk? <laughs> drive drunk? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it would have to be drive drunk. <laughs> would you rather? Great one. Damn, that that's one. one that even caught me off guard for how fucking stupid it was. How about wait, wait, don't fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you were very small, how long do you think it would feel good to be in a microwave? Not for a second. Not even a second? I don't think it would feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Before you really heat up, it might feel kind of nice. Yeah. It would immediately be cooking you from the inside. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. In like though. three seconds, it would kind of be nice, dude. No, this is why you're so much of an optimist, is that you think that uh, an excruciating death being cooked from the inside would feel no, good for a I, Did you ever put weed that got wet in the microwave the for like two chair, seconds? How, how good no. do you think that would feel? That's different, bro. Because there's it would be nice to feel warm for a sec. Before it gets really heated up that's what the electric chair is like for real yeah hmm. the, the electricity mostly just passes over your skin mm-hmm. so it, it it burns the shit out of you well if you at a low setting maybe that would be nice sure you're getting a phone call adam it's a telemarketer from your bo- is it from your boyfriend I thought it was my cousin, maybe, because he's staying at mine right You're now. You're having sex with your cousin? No, he's sick at my apartment right now. Mm-hmm. So. From all that cock you gave him? I didn't give him any cock, dude. Shut up. He's <laughs> Adam, what is used that, Adam, That's I, my freaking family. Adam, I bro. used <laughs> the Band-Aid you gave me, the used Band-Aid he for my talk paper cut. Way. He's from Los Angeles. <laughs> and it, now I, I think I am sick with uh, some kind of immunodeficiency <laughs> virus. <laughs> Why couldn't you give me a new Band-Aid? You had to save money on Band-Aid. Well, it's a good band It still has a stickiness. Yeah. You, and Adam's been finding Band-Aids outside. On the sidewalk. To save money. But that on. one, to be clear, is from you. <laughs> Although you have been finding them. The one you gave him, the gave him the immunity. I gave him my AIDS, my AIDS Band-Aid. That one is yours. Yeah, it was rude of me. I'm going to have to talk to his mother. She's going to be pissed if at me. You, okay, how sick is he? He's just, just kind of cold. He's got like a cold. If something. he, if you could cure him, but he had to lick your penis, would you do it? I think we kind of probably did that when we were kids. So yes, you would. We kissed, we kissed each other's uh, butts or some whatever, <laughs> whatever little kids do, you know, normal. No, I never did that. No, I don't think we did that. But that was my cousin that I did a <laughs> penis party with. Ba-da-ba, 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 he's ba-da-ba, from ba-da-ba. Pittsburgh. Is he from Pittsburgh? He's from Pittsburgh. Him and Michael Keaton. Yeah, I know his brother, Michael Penis. You know Dennis. What Miller's if Michael brother? Keaton's yeah. name was Michael Penis? <laughs> yeah. I still would think he was cool. 
<laughs> dude, that would be awesome. That would make it He's even just cooler. a decorated yeah. actor named Michael Penis. <laughs> dude, his... I, play, I play Batman. I was great at Batman. <laughs> like a marquee just says penis. Yeah. I love Stone it. penis. I'm with you. I love that. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I'm trying I'm forcing myself to get on that level, but I love that. That'd be cool. <laughs> He's a great actor. Tonight on Inside the Actor's Studio, I sit down with Hollywood actor Michael Pierce. I'm James Faggot. Yeah, dude, Michael Penis. <laughs> Is that Michael Shannon, but it's Michael Penis? That's good, too, man. Yeah. How would you know the difference? I'm character actor. <laughs> I'm actor Michael Penis. A lot of people confuse me with the actor Michael Penis who played Batman. <laughs> but I'm a different Michael Penis. Michael G. Penis? My name is Michael G. Penis, not to be confused with the black actor Michael, Michael K. Penis. Oh, yeah, he's also... Yeah, Michael K. Penis. Yeah, and, they and, were, Michael B and they were penis. both on that show. Michael Balls penis. <laughs> <laughs> As many of you know, I'm good friends with the black actor Michael Balls penis. <laughs> well, we share a name. <laughs> we share a namesake. Oh, that is good. That there oh, is shit. some good When I was stuff. preparing for my role in Revolutionary Road, I... I drove myself mad by okay. sucking penis. Yeah, Michael Ball's penis, dude. <laughs> yeah. Michael Ball's uh, penis. Yeah, you know, I mean, Creed. it was very, it was nice working with, with, with uh, Mr. Ball's penis. <laughs> 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 yeah, my, Mikey, I call him Mikey on set of BP <laughs> Ball's penis. <laughs> Yeah, my Michael <laughs> penis. I'm a good kid. <laughs> oh, shit. When I was in Superman, I worked closely with uh, Robert Downey Penis. <laughs> <laughs> he was named after his mother, Robert Downey Vagina. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Mm. Now that's a good one. Now that's why we do it. Yes. That's, that's a... why you wake up in the morning, man. Mm hmm. That's, For a riff like Michael Penis. That's why I put my pants on. I am I'm actually in the community theater with Michael Ball's penis <laughs> and Jonathan Diarrhea <laughs> and Scarlet Vagina. Uh, uh, fuck. <clears throat> well, <laughs> that ought to do it. I mean, we're not talking yeah, Michael that, Penis, that was, man. Uh, no. Yeah. He, in the movie Batman, Michael Penis... You're watching Inside the Actor's Studio with Michael Shannon Penis. <laughs> Michael Penis, formerly known as Michael Shannon. And oh, I he ch changed his name. I changed for because they said Shannon sounded like a girl's name. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it would have been embarrassing. People didn't... I didn't want to be confused with... Uh, sh sh the, ba the others, the Shannon bitch from Shannon. 90210. Yeah. Whatever her n fucking name is. <laughs> Shannon who? Shannon Doherty. Yeah. I didn't uh, want to be confused with Shannon Doherty. I so forgot I about that bitch. I changed, like, changed my, my name to Shannon Penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kept his life. <laughs> now, now I'm... <laughs> I'm actor Shannon Penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that might be one of the best, one of the best uh, ones, dude. I think I'm, there might be a gas leak in my apartment. <laughs> I think we're dying. Shannon bro. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid confusion with Shannon Doherty, Michael I, Shannon changed I his name. I didn't want people thinking I was that bitch from 90210. So I had to change my name to Shannon Ball's Penis. <laughs> uh, now people confuse me with the actor Michael Ball's Penis. <laughs> Well, folks, thank you for paying money to listen to <laughs> Everyone that's on Patreon, this is a Patreon episode. And we, we love you for listening. Okay.
Yo, we should watch <laughs> Forrest Gump with Stav. I don't want to watch that movie. It looks like shit. What do you mean? He goes throughout all of history. He runs a long His time. His girlfriend Who gives gets, a fuck. Gets I mean, AIDS. It, it isn't a great movie, but I mean, it's not good. Well, you don't. You're not like you're obviously not like a completionist with movies. There's like no. you've seen like the least out of I've like seen anyone very yet. few movies. Hmm. And I don't give a fuck about Forrest. You've Gump. seen Finding Nemo though. That's a good movie. It's yeah. Too sad. First of all, okay. Here's the thing about Forrest Gump. I don't get. Is that shit supposed to have happened? Yes. He so was he a was real. real guy. I know he's not a real guy. He's Shut a real up. guy. He showed Nixon his I ass. know he's not a real guy. Wait, is your question is this is this, this movie I understand to be fictional supposed to be a real guy in the context no. of the fictional world? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sort of. That is, what I'm saying that is, is the dumbest no, thing you've ever on. asked on this show. No, it's not. That is. Let the me dumbest. explain. No, let me that, explain. No, that is the let worst one. Let me explain. One. That is not That's the worst. worst. It's a thought. It's a thought. Pro, it's a thought provoking question. No, it it's a thought provoking question no. for us to, to, no. end, to examine. No. Because here's the question. That is the worst one. No, you've it's ever not. Worst. And if you let, if you let, it's so stupid. If you let, Stop, me, that is insane. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> and if you'll let me finish, okay. Instead of your but cheap, let's hear about, instead of let's your hear about. cheap debate tactics of talking over okay, me, no and filibustering, no filibustering. Okay. The floor is yours. My point is: was he really supposed to have run across America without a break that long? Well, he probably <laughs> pissed and stuff. <laughs> You're right. That does change the. Because is he some kind of superhero? Is he some? Kind, you know what I'm saying? You're saying how could somebody? He, is he hallucinating these events in the movie? Yeah, did they really? You're did saying that really can happen? someone really run across America without taking? What a break? I'm saying in this movie, are we uh -huh. supposed to believe in the world of this movie that Forrest Gump is some kind of either superhero or ultra endurance athlete no. or something who runs? He or was he, he having? Walks, he walks across the United States. No, he, he runs. Jogs. He, he jogs. jogs most of it. It's a jog. He does most. Is of the he? So, is that supposed to have really happened? Like yes. in the universe of the movie, in yes. The movie, yes, yeah, I believe so. He's also yeah. fuck that. He's is also a, a is he either, I either want this shit to be wild. I don't want if there's going to be magic in a movie. He's also I don't want it to be uh, not magic. He's it's also some, it's a, magic. A no, mentally it's disabled person that went to Vietnam and met the president and is a ping pong champion and got pussy. All of that checks from, out from his from and Jenny dude, from the hottest. Movie. All of that checks out. He, yeah. gets, he gave Jenny AIDS, which he doesn't can't you know because well guys can't get it. Only chicks, retarded people, or gay guys. Yeah, yeah. Retarded people can't get it. It's called because the extra chromosome it's, fights. It's all basically, the God's version of double jeopardy. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can't be what Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 not in the game show. In the like, in the oh, sense of oh, the legal life. thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, there's never been a case of it. Yeah, <laughs> there's literally never been a case of a, a mentally disabled person that got AIDS. I don't know, know that that's, that's true. true no. Yeah, can you imagine that though? Part of the so stop, stop. Yes. If I understand, you're like you're against like magical realism. My big gripe right? is if you're going to use magic in a movie, don't use it for jogging. Let him have fireballs. Let it, someone, you know what I mean. Let, let him <laughs> be a sorcerer. <laughs> Something <it>. like that. <laughs> don't make the guy. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> don't make the guy a jogger. Let him. Who fly. gives a fuck? Let him fly. But I don't. I don't no, stop, also, stop, a, stop, a, I don't a think ping pong champion. Ping pong's fucking cool, but you can become. That's I, magic. I buy that a a a mentally disabled man gets good as shit at ping pong. Mm -hmm. I buy that. I don't buy that he can against jog. the Chinese. If he could play ping pong, why couldn't he jog? Yeah, because it wasn't because it, it's feasible you within don't the think limits. Could jog it's across feasible America. within the limits of his fucking you know physical abilities. You don't to be think good someone's at, capable of jogging across? I mean, America. does he ever take a break? Does he sleep? It doesn't show the breaks, but like it's implied that it's probably, not implied. Probably it's pisses. implied that he goes the whole time. He probably the fuck pisses. It's not implied. It's not implied he takes. breaks. I don't breaks. think anyone don't watching know. the movie is like, well, they didn't address the breaks. <laughs> Well, that was a big problem for me when I watched it. <laughs> to me, and I wasn't really paying attention, I will admit that. I was only sort of tuned in. But to me, it seemed like they were implying that he ran across America with no breaks for I think years, potentially. I think Robert Zemeckis left that up to the audience <laughs> to figure out. Well, that's that a itself. failure of filmmaking to me. Right. In my opinion, there's, that's too... I, I I did not de deal well with that level of mm -hmm. um, you like you you like all the the eyes uh, dotted and the t's exactly crossed. I'm I'm forgetting the word you're I want to say you're a details man I'm forgetting the word I want to say but 
It's I'll like remember it's it like soon. how in the Titanic, all the plates in the movie had like it's the still Titanic. Your, still your dumbest thing. Chris. Yeah, it's really dumb. No, was you was tried it? to wriggle your way out. I of did. I, it first of all, I didn't need to try anything. Was that supposed was to be point. real? Yes, the jogging. <laughs> He, the does movie, he have magic powers? Was what happened in the movie supposed <laughs> to be real? Yeah, it's, yeah even within the, movies, the world of the movie, it doesn't make sense to me. But there's unless no mag- it does, there's literally no magic. Running across the country with no breaks, they is magic. never say that he doesn't take. Right. Breaks. Well, it seems like he's not taking <laughs> they breaks to me. Never. That he doesn't. But that's editing. editing. That's like that's editing. Edited in yeah, that that's, way that's right. <laughs> in a movie, it seem like listen it's a to me. Thing. I don't get uh, the way it was done. To me, <laughs> did not make it clear. And as you far as I'm concerned, to... I'm really trying to remember the word I'm looking for that would really sew up my argument here, but I can't, <laughs> I can't remember it. It's something like, it starts with an A, whereas they make something vague. Something hmm. Let's not say vague. anything until he remembers the word. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me a second. Fuck. Uh, let me go to thesaurus.com and look up the word vague. It's like... <laughs> It's like, it's like, um, fuck, dude. It's like, you know, he doesn't, it's not specific. He leaves it up. Ambiguous? <laughs> Ambi- ambiguity. That's the word I was looking for. All right. Well, I now- didn't deal well with that level of ambiguity in the movie. All right. Well, now I, I agree with That's you. That's so you. Now I totally agree with That's you. That's so you right <laughs> up, stop. Your argument consider it sewed. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was in tatters, but now it has been. God so... damn! I feel like motherfucking uh, <laughs> the the raging Cajun over here, dude. I'm out here debating. Uh, James Carville. James Carville. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly like a Carville. It was a Carvillian performance. And I'm about to go get pussy yeah. for my Republican. Oh, the wife, question dude. I have is, uh, <laughs> do I, in the retard movie. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe that the retard actually exists? Is this Bill Cosby? I, everything turns into Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah. If I start doing something, I'm like, well, I don't have it. I guess it's Bill Cosby. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. So anyway, fuck, fuck Robert Zemeckis, fuck Polar Express, nah, except for nah, except nah, for nah, uh, nah, 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 Back nah. to the Future. That was, was it. Polar fucking... Express, uh, Spielberg, and also no. Roger Rabbit. Who who gave Roger him, Rabbit rules? Who okay, gave brain fine. to Roger Rabbit? Was okay, that that's Zemeckis? a great example of something where there's magic that I fuck with. It's cartoon characters. <laughs> One of the cartoon. <laughs> 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 One of the cartoons. One of the cartoons has big tits. I, I like read. that kind of I shit. Read. Read. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, God. hopefully, the damage done to the Jewish community by that video has just completely been replaced by the damage Stav has done to the Greek community in the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> just as being the worst ambassador. The God. culture, and then, and then 15 minutes ago, having the audacity to call Polish people stupid. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Thank you for allowing me to get that off my chest about Ari no. Forrest Gump. No, dude. no, because it needed to be go, said. It's go off season. It needed we're, to we're be letting, said. We're letting our boy go too, off. Too many people <laughs> for too long have called that a good movie. Without addressing this, it's it's a a good addressing this glaring it's a bad, movie. bad movie. It's, it's not a it's good not movie. It's not bad because it's unrealistic. <laughs> it's it's it, because everyone's seen it. Because it was like an event movie where everyone saw Forrest Gump. And that's why we were saying it was remarkable that you hadn't seen it. Not because it was a good movie. It's like not seeing Titanic or something. I saw that, brother. You better believe I saw that. Because you see Rose's titties, bro. That's right. Do you remember the Monday at school after that? I didn't know. I, I went with my family, and then on Monday, everyone saw titties, and it was the best, that the happiest lunch table I think I've ever been a member of. <clears throat> that is pretty good, and I respect pretty that. Pretty cool. That's the thing, man. It's like all of these idiots got into comedy thinking it's like it requires being capable of thinking at all. No. And dude. it doesn't. It requires one thing, being funny, which you're not. Yeah. <laughs> not only could, like, it was so funny because he clearly wouldn't go, he wouldn't leave, he wouldn't, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? When it's to get away from something? Flee. No. It's depart. No. Fuck. Abscond? Not, not closer. You're closer, though. He wouldn't abscond? He wouldn't. Um, it's kind of like, fuck, look at my On hands. On the lamb. Circumvent? No. Fuck. 
Oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's a word in my head that means to escape. Not quite. Like he, deviate. Deviate. Yeah. He wouldn't deviate from his set. Indeed, that means escape. <laughs> Yep, that's definitely a. He scenario. wouldn't deviate at all because he, yeah, that's pretty much. It. He was running like the shows were. They asked him to cut his time by five minutes, and he just never would. What That'd if? Okay, great. how about this, boys? What if there was a special dildo? You get a you get a fucking mold of your ass, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and the dildo doesn't even hurt at all. It doesn't feel like anyone's fucking you in the ass, but it tickles your prostate, and it's awesome. Would you do that? Would I put it? Would you? Sh- the question is: Would you put a dildo in your ass? <laughs> no, but a special dildo. Oh that's, man, I've missed that's, you. <laughs> that's genetically, that's genetically fucking, mm. uh, you know, designed to not even feel like you're getting fucked. It just feels awesome when it. You only feel it on your prostate, and you just bust hard. But, but it's, it's not, would it's, you? And then there has to be some sort of <laughs> like compensation or. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying, would you put a dildo? Would you put a dildo in your ass? But it's a really special, crafted for you dildo that does it. It's engineered to not be gay. Yeah. I feel like we're getting dumber in this porn scene. Nah, I feel like first I'm of all, dumb as shit. I feel like that was a great question. That you guys should really fucking bat around a little bit. I guess so. I'll consider it. How come lawyers are always trying to become partners? They're like, yeah. I don't want to be a husband anymore. I want to be a partner. I want. <laughs> if my options are partner or husband, I'm choosing partner. <laughs> I'm trying to make partner. Yeah. Can't I'm you tired understand? Of all this pussy. I just, Once I fuck enough pussy, I can have sex with a man. Once I can make love to to Levine <laughs> and I don't know what, 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 what is another Epstein Levine, and Stern Berkowitz. Yeah. Honey, could you just give me a minute? I'm trying to make love to Levine in the living room, please. <laughs> it's such a great story. Why don't you tell it, honey? <laughs> Uh, yes, we all, we, we were in Paris and, uh, you know, Michael, of course, wanted to have gay sex. And so he went into the theater, the theater, it's the theater I went into. Sorry, she's an idiot. Sorry, she's, an, she's stupid. She's an imbecile. She's a woman. She knows she'll never understand the pleasure of having a, a, a dildo specially designed. <laughs> No, that's not what this character would like. Because uh-huh. these dildos are for straight men. Uh, yeah. That's the exact whole point of these dildos. Thank yeah. you. I don't much. get why. <laughs> what, the why whole does point. I do that. How about it? Because it's specially made to not be gay. Are you not even listening, Adam? What yeah. the fuck? But it is. Gay. It's. How about it's a, not gay. First okay. of all, it's not even gay to put a dildo in your ass. Now, a store that nowadays. in the in the post apocalyptic world, I'm opening a store that specifically sells knives used to uh, threaten women. And it's called the whole point. <laughs> and it's that's the name of my store. Yep. That's really good, man. Yeah. A lot a lot of like the newsroom is is bad. I tried yeah, watching the newsroom and it fucking sucks. But Tarantino <laughs> loves the newsroom. Yeah, yeah. Tarantino's got weird sometimes you he get has some weird taste. Yeah. But, um isn't it the thing I don't understand about the newsroom, isn't it just a, a, a show where they go like one year in the past yeah it's all ripped from the headlines it's like law and order of course every time they have the right take but it's because they have a year of hindsight to be correct about everything yeah Yeah, but somehow they're still wrong but hold on for a second that's literally how all art works that's true it's all yeah no you motherfuckers always what you do i make a valid beautiful you you make a show the day after something happens how what's the statute of limitations (laughs) it's a show show that is i think you guy being a fucking guy knows what he's doing yeah Yeah. hold on no so i just watched this movie jfk and it's like you know, they have all these ideas, but it's bullshit because that already happened. Oh, you fuckers. So they get the, this no, is, this know. motherfucker gets to say, oh, JFK is going to be shot. If it and was a like, fucking documentary, yeah, that was different. The, yeah. I mean, you, 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 they know what the you're going to tell me? I don't trust it. It's like, you know what? Give me a show like Star Trek or something yeah, where they're, guess, they're make making it up, guesses. Make it magic. Stuff. Make it magic. We know yeah. stuff's magic it's rules. It's like, and but like this, guy was wrong about you stuff. know what something is the show newsroom is it it's it's the only show about things that happened in the past no, absolutely not <laughs> and then the rest of it yet again <laughs> act by you jackals you hyenas yet again by my <laughs> that, was a pounce. that was a pounce but you know wait 
they made newsroom and fucking what's his face? Jeff Daniels, fucking dumb and dumber, was wrong about shit, but he's always right because he has the fucking he gets to be like it's like he just calls everything correctly. It's one thing if you do a news show and the guy is on the wrong yeah. side of certain issues, but he's always right. Because I don't know. Like, if they're always, I've never seen the show. I saw like two things and they seem to be right about. Yeah, them. it's just he's like they're doing a show and he's like, those Covington Catholic kids are innocent. You know, he's like, <laughs> Jeff guy, Daniels, you're didn't wrong. actually go to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, no, he's like that guy didn't go to Vietnam. He's a liar, and it was actually black Israelites calling everyone a faggot the whole time. <laughs> who, by the way, who by the way, who by the way are going to do an anti-Semitic mass shooting in a month in Jersey City? <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's my boo, 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 boo. whatever the fucking newsroom theme is. Yeah. I'm sure it's gay like that. I can't yeah, even remember, it, but boo, 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 boo. just some like NPR flute, <laughs> just film reels, and then like but that's old... also the, it's the same format as West Wing. It was all stuff that happened. They like changed yeah. the names of countries or whatever, but yeah, West Wing. Never seen. Uh, it. Yeah, no, I like Sorkin. You like sorting my dick fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? He got Sork, you there. He got, you dick, you pussy. <laughs> he got, he got there. me there. He got me he there. He ain't wrong. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> Feels good to get back on the board after being attacked by my prescient point about the fucking newsroom. Mm -hmm. What else is sorting? What do you mean prescient? Prescient. <laughs> that means you can tell the future. Yeah, and I'm correct. Mm. What, okay. Watch, All right. Okay. Watch the newsroom. It will be true what I say. But no, okay. Yeah, but you've already seen. You've already seen the newsroom, seen so it doesn't it count. Does. You don't get to be right about things in the past. You, it's, it's not prescient. It's literally, first of all, it's literally not even prescient. But like, it, it you now involved yourself in your own criticism of the show. <laughs> you can't say watch. I'm going to be right when you got a show that already, that already came out. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. well, I can't oh. have all the facts. So we're in like a little time bubble right now. And when okay. we escape, I will be right. Yeah. I saw a little bit of what, it. Passion of the Christ? Yeah. It was when I was like. I saw it in theaters. When I was that age, I used to like buy one movie ticket at 11 a.m. and then see three movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, yeah, so I saw, like, an hour and a half. What about it. Penis of the Mice? That, okay. Go off. <laughs> well, it's, it's like kind of like Passion of the Christ. Yeah, yeah. But it's a bunch of fucking mouses with big-ass dicks. Mm -hmm. Penis of the Mice. And still, somehow, Jews are the villains. How about Ratatouille, but he teaches a guy how to fuck? I love that. He's just okay. under the hat. He's mm -hmm. pulling his hair. Yeah. That guy's wife is like, can you take your chef's hat off? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> just, so how do you This hear rat him? holding the guy's hair? Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking his scalp. Fucking a mole on the top of his head. <laughs> He's just <laughs> holding the guy's hair up and fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, just like that. How did he hear him in Ratatouille? I've never seen the movie. I don't he know. would pull his hair and it would make he figure but out. But how did like, the rat see things? I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. the movie doesn't make any fucking. It sense. It makes no sense. Yeah. Hmm. Basically, it's Patton Oswalt playing this Jewish mouse. You're on the fucking. You're on the. You're on notice. Patton Pixar. Oswald. Pixar and Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt is in the crosshairs. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yep. You're going on the list. Going on the list until until you explain Ratatouille to us. Because we don't get it. Because I don't understand how a rat would tell a guy anything, personally. You know, that is completely unbelievable. Does he have... I haven't seen that the movie. A, that a rat would tell a guy. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. Does the rat possess language? <laughs> it is just... Do that they have is, some kind of magical you know, connection you between had them? Me at, Yeah, I mean, it's voiced by Pat Oswalt. You so. had me at cooking, but the rat part, that well, is Well, okay. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that is insane. Does the, is this a world <laughs> where the rats talk? Yeah, I think Or does is. the guy... I have a special ability to hear the rat or is it completely I'm not sure I ever is it saw clearly it. not it's not through language and he gives him little hints with how he touches his hair that's i mean i know that is part of it i okay. know that he pulls his hair and gives him directions okay now if he uh, uh, okay so he's not talking to him but how does the rat see anything under the hat is, does the guy live a, live a, leave Maybe a little he's not wearing a chef hat no he is that's where the rat is. Maybe he cuts holes so the rat can see. But then wouldn't the people? Well, he probably leaves a little slit. Maybe. 
Yeah, a little slit for that rat to find. <laughs> I love getting a little slit. Give it a little slit. Get that rat slit. I love Penis that. of the mice. 